Police in the U.S. state of Florida say an arson attack on a mosque is being investigated as a hate crime. The Islamic Center in Fort Pierce had been attended by the Orlando shooter Omar Batin, who killed 49 people at a gay nightclub in June. CCTV footage shows a man approaching the mosque with a bottle of liquid and papers just moments before the blaze started. Ibrahim Hooper joins us now from Washington, D.C. He's the National Communications Director for the Council on American-Islamic Relations. Good to have you with us. Muslim leaders have been saying that there's been an escalating campaign of harassment and violence against this mosque and its worshippers. What's been happening? Well, uh, not only this mosque has been targeted uh, on a number of occasions, uh, but we're seeing increasing attacks and harassment of Muslims nationwide. I mean, just in the last few days, we had a, a mosque in Maryland rammed. We had a mosque in New Hampshire vandalized. We had a Muslim woman set on fire in Manhattan. We had two Muslim women who were uh, pushing baby strollers in New York uh, attacked and had their hijabs ripped off uh, uh, by a woman who was later arrested. I mean, we can't keep up with these things. They're happening on a daily basis, sometimes more than uh, uh, once a day. It's really quite frightening. And uh, unfortunately, we've been seeing this over the past year or so with the mainstreaming of Islamophobia by public figures like Donald Trump and Ben Carson and Newt Gingrich and a host of others who have brought uh, anti-Muslim bigotry from the fringes of society where it was even after 9-11, and they brought it into the mainstream, and we're seeing the result. Okay. So what efforts have the council, has the council been making to counter this tide of violence against Muslims? Well, the only things we can do really as a small uh, religious minority are education and outreach. We try and educate ordinary Americans about Islam and Muslims because we find through our research and experience that when people know more about Islam and Muslims, prejudice goes down. And when we reach out to the larger society, we build coalitions with like-minded groups and individuals. We reach out and uh, show that Muslims are Americans like everybody else, just want to have a uh, good life for themselves, their family, go to work, go to school, uh, educate their children. That's what we try and project. And hopefully uh, we can push back against this rising tide of Islamophobia. But we can't do it alone. We need the support of others in the society, particularly the support of public officials uh, and elected officials to speak out against this growing Islamophobia. Okay. Abraham Hooper, good to speak to you. Thanks for joining us there from Washington, D.C. Thank you.